Hi YouTube, this is uh, Pug Weasel, otherwise known as Brad, the black guy from the Black Guy White Guy Show. I'll talk a little bit about that later. But first, I want to review my Stoger Coach Gun. The Stoger Coach Gun that uh, I have is the Coach Gun Supreme, and it is a really, really fun gun to have. I also use it as my uh, home defense shotgun. And I know there's, there's a debate about whether you should use anything but a pump action, and uh, I'll tell you why I personally have this as a home defense shotgun as opposed to something else here in just a little bit as well. First let me tell you a little bit about the Stoger Coach Gun Supreme uh, and what makes it I guess the Supreme as opposed to the, the basic model. Uh, it is coming with a double A grade gloss walnut stock uh, and beaver tail forend. It has uh, the check ring which I believe the standard one has as well. Uh, it also comes with a soft rubber butt pad and it's coming with uh, chokes so an improved cylinder and a modified choke tube is included along with a choke wrench that's making it uh, that, that's the thing that's specifically different than the uh, normal coach gun uh, Stoger coach gun this model has a nickel plated matte finish and just to show you that it's safe I will uh, show you that it's empty. I uh, basically had a situation one night that quite frankly scared me a little bit and I already had a pistol but I decided that I wanted a shotgun as well. I have added as you notice a buttstock uh, cartridge holder. This is a Galco leather cartridge holder that uh, laces up at the bottom and it's a little bit harder to get off, you know, when I let friends who are right-handed shoot it, it's a little bit harder to get off, but I don't mind taking it off and put it back on later. Uh, still very, very uh, versatile. In any case, I kind of laid out some of the uh, cartridges that I use, but to get, and, and I'll get into those in a little bit too. This is a fun, fun gun. I, you know, as far as what I prefer to shoot out of it, I like to use uh, gain load, or uh, target load when I am uh, at a friend's house and we're shooting out in his, on his land. But I also almost always get some double odd buck when we're shooting, say, uh, two gallon jugs, uh, milk jugs, or whatever. For you know, I've shot, uh, there's some videos on uh, my channel showing where I've shot a watermelon and I've done that a couple times. It's a lot of fun. What I'm using for home defense is the Remington HD Ultimate Home Defense. This is basically copper, pel copper uh, BBs, and I kind of picked that because I live in an apartment and I don't want to have buckshot in there and end up having it go through a wall and kill one of my neighbors uh, or overpenetrate in any other way. So I went with something that's kind of, uh, I was using uh, game load. I've watched a bunch of videos on whether it's good enough or not. I am convinced that it is in fact uh, good enough for my use in that we're looking at from the end of the hall to the bedroom, we're talking about 15 paces, 20 paces at the most. So we're talking about 20 feet at the most. And game load will severely injure somebody. Uh, at that distance and you can kill them if you place the shot right. Uh, stop the threat, I guess I should say. In any case, uh, these are a little bit more powerful than that, powerful than that, but less powerful than say your, your double odd buck. And so I'm kind of going with something in between that's not going to have the penetration uh, of double odd buck, but going to penetrate a little bit better than the average game load, just to be safe. So, I said I was going to cover uh, why I chose a side-by-side -side double barrel as opposed to a pump-action shotgun when I decided to buy a shotgun for home defense. And basically, there's two reasons. One is my grandmother slept with a double barrel side-by-side -side under her bed, I believe it was a 20 gauge, uh, for as long as I can remember. And uh, I kind of said to myself, you know, if it's good enough for her, uh, my, my grandmother was a feisty woman, then it's good enough for me. 
Uh, so that was part of it. The other part of it was is that I am a single person. I have my pistol ready to go as well. And I like the idea of having two shots ready to go right off the bat without having to do anything with my fine or gross motor skills uh, having to be, you know, in any kind of, you know, having to have them all together in a, in a very scary situation. I could always fall back on my pistol after I got a couple shots off if that's what I needed to do. Truthfully, this, this uh, butt stock cartridge holder is really more for giving it some decoration since I went with the, uh, the uh, nickel plated matte finish uh, model instead of the double defense. Uh, for those of you who may not have keep, kept up with, say, Stoger models of shotguns, they actually made a version called the Stoger Double Defense. It is a side-by-side -side double barrel shotgun. It has uh, got the uh, polymer or plastic uh, furniture and all black finish along with the ability to put rails on, I believe, the top and the bottom of it so if it's something you're considering you might look at that before you uh, go out and just purchase the average shotgun. I think with a 20 inch barrel that this is a relatively maneuverable uh, shotgun and uh, will do me just fine in my apartment. I doubt that I'm going to have an army of people coming you know breaking in all at the same time and trying to uh, overpower me. I imagine that I might have someone break in one to two people and uh, try to get in here. But who knows? Again, it's not the only armor I'm going to have in case I need to defend myself. But uh, there was something else I was going to tell you and I don't remember and I'm not going to worry about it right now. I'll put an annotation on there if I want to. Um, but I like to go out to my friend's house. We have a, a lot of fun with the shotgun shooting, uh, like I said, watermelons and uh, different fruit and you know your melons or whatever and shooting water jugs and we have just a great time. Uh, I'm sure people have opinions about the the side-by-side -side versus the uh, pump action you know you're welcome to put whatever comments you want uh, I'm not going to take them too far to heart just because I've already purchased this and I plan to keep it. So that is my review on the uh, Stoger Coach Gun Supreme. Uh, again, at the beginning of the video, I told you I'd tell you uh, a little bit about the whole Black Eye White Guy Show thing, and that is that uh, I have a podcast I do with my friend. It's a liberal politics podcast. Uh, we are liberals who are also pro Second Amendment. So if you are one of those people who doesn't seem to fit into the normal gun owner crowd because of the rest of your politics and you're a liberal, you might want to check out our podcast. It might be just a place you might feel at home. So uh, you can do that by going to our website at www.blackeyewhiteguy.com. Uh, you can find us on iTunes. Just uh, look up the Black Eye White Guy Show. You can find us uh, on Twitter at Guy, and you can find us on YouTube at the Black Eye White Guy Show. Have a good day. Do it carefully. Oh, wow. wow. You're not kidding. <laughs> One more. Uh, okay, dinner time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if I can find any pellets. <laughs>